Hello and welcome to Train Sim World 3. Today we're going to be doing the Beats by Bremen scenario. As you can see, uh, we are currently in Hude. We're an eight car service all the way to uh, Bremen, and this is because there's an annual music festival on. So, uh, first things first, let's get the, the uh, uh, train set up and we'll get it into. Yeah, there we go. Is it making. Me... Oh, come on. Right, let's go into Ford. Let's get the passengers on and off. Uh, although there are absolutely no passengers, uh, which <laughs> uh, I think is kind of immersion breaking. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll put our imaginary passengers on because that's not great at all, if I'm honest. Um, right, let's jump in the cab and set our... There we go. Uh, we're going to ignore the, uh, the the known bug around tail lights that are very very bright. Let's lock the doors and let's get going. We'll go. I think we'll go high beam actually because uh, it is starting to get uh, starting to get dark. So let's further ado. Let's get let's get moving. Let's get moving. I'm not going to be playing with um, PZ Beyond because well. Quite frankly, I, I haven't quite mastered it yet. <laughs> and so, uh, to avoid stopping every five minutes, uh, let's, let's uh, play today without the safety systems on. As you can see, we're in the BR425. It's been updated uh, as part of this uh, uh, new release, which is obviously Barnstrecker Bremen to Oldenburg. And we are already speeding, which is not good. Um, there are, I've done several other videos on the uh, locos and the route included uh, with Barnstrecker to uh, Bremen to Oldenburg. Um, so go and check those out on the channel if you haven't seen them already. And if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button and also the like button if you're enjoying this so far. It's been a bit of a hectic start, but we'll get back on track. Excuse the pun. <laughs> um, we are still slightly speeding. Let's uh, just slow this down. We've got uh, Delmhorst up next. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but hopefully. And that's in 12 kilometers. It's really sort of, these brakes really aren't that strong. Certainly in comparison to the BR110, they are phenomenal. We're up to 140 now, so let's, uh, let's see what this BR425 can really do for us. Let's put it into full power. And uh, sure, we'll uh, make light work of this. Uh, these eleven kilometres. It's beautiful in the uh, the dusk here. Let's get. A, oh, let's try and get you a nice, nice view of this uh, 425. We've rapidly got up to near 140 there. It is a quick accelerating uh, loco. And from my experience of driving the other one, the brakes aren't all that good, so uh, we'll have to be careful as we come into the next station. Let's just look at our timetable. We've just got the one stop before we come into Bremen, so uh, hopefully that won't take us uh, too long. Lovely stuff. And uh, we're just rolling through the German countryside at the moment, which is very nice with this uh, sort of lovely pink sky at night and obviously we are an eight car unit which is quite unusual normally it is just a four car unit what, what do you think if you've already got this route what are you thinking of Barnstrecker to Bremen to Oldenburg so far you know uh, it's worth acknowledging there were quite a number of bugs that were released uh, were present when released um, but they have been quickly well some of them have been quickly fixed by Dovetail games um, over the past couple of days but it's kind of not 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 the level of quality that you know you should expect with a brand new new game that's been through all its testing etc that said this route is still enjoyable you know given the variety of locos that you can have on here and obviously it being set back in sort of around 2008-2009 time so uh, it's nice to have that variety obviously there's a lot of, lo lot of locos and uh, stock that can be uh, layered onto this route from other German routes. Um, 
We've got seven and a half kilometres to go. We're cruising along nicely, just under the 140. Let's try and get our obligatory thumbnail. Um, how do I want to do it? I want to get some of that pink sky in the... Uh, to time it and not get clipped by a pole <laughs> I think I've got one there if you're watching this you'll know where the, uh, the thumbnails come from and we are already speeding so let's just just break see just a momentary lap, lapse of concentration and we're already speeding we've got just under six kilometers to go now I think we'll start applying the brakes around the uh, just a, about a kilometre out from Downhorse. Looks like we've got a BR110 coming in the opposite, opposite direction now. We'll give you a good view if we can. It's rolling in very slowly. I guess it's stopping at that station with its oh, uh, Envagen uh, coaches. You can see them and the cab car at the back there. Certainly when you start to get into Bremen, you start to feel that you're certainly coming into a city, which is, is nice. You start to see it sort of gradually build up. Just a bit more power, slightly going uphill. And uh, it's unfortunate we haven't got a time to be there for. We're already speeding, so let's just come off. I think we are probably just going to be about on time. Let's give you a bit of horn action. That is an interesting, interesting sounding horn. <laughs> so we're cruising along nicely. Also passengers, or the non-existent passengers, are watching me from behind through the see-through partition. We do need to be slowing for the 120. Got uh, about 400 meters to go, so we'll start applying the brakes again. You can see we, we really don't uh, scrub the speed off like anything like that BR110. They are phenomenal brakes. Two what, we'll keep applying minimum brakes for now because we are we're not far outside of our next stop. As we come round this uh, bend, I'm sure we'll, yeah, we're really not taking any speed off very quickly. Probably a bit more braking action. Down to about 90. And we'll see the station emerge any second. You can see our, our stop marker. As you can see, these brakes really aren't uh, anything special. Special, which is fine. Let's see if we can get ourselves down to about 50 kilometres an hour. Yeah, we need a bit more braking action. There's some passengers, finally. And we'll just cruise in. A bit more brakes, a bit more brakes. See if we can hit the marker. Can we, can we? We're full brakes. Oh, slight, slightly over, but that's okay. And we'll see if we get some passengers this time. Yeah, there you go, finally. Not many, though, for a <laughs> what is supposed to be a bustling uh, bustling scenario. Uh, it's a real shame. It doesn't give you that immersion that this scenario is trying to create. Let's just come off the brakes there. We can absolutely, we're back into a 140 zone, so we can absolutely fly uh, out of here and use the full acceleration of this BR425. Keep the windows open, you may be here. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not, oh, it doesn't have, no. Window, thank you. 
Right, let's see if we can hear any music as it says. There's another 425 coming into the station. There you go. And we're pulling away at some uh, some speed there. So we've got full acceleration. We've got the windows open. And I wonder if we'll be able to hear any of this music as it says. You'll also hear more of the more of the sort of traction motor sounds, ambient sounds, which uh, it's always nice with the windows open. We'll ease off as we we quickly got up to 140. There we've got 12 kilometres to go to Bremen, uh, so we'll soon eat those up at this speed. It is unfortunate, as you'll see, probably seeing some of those micro stutters that are oh so common with uh, trains in world. It's particularly bad as we start to come into Bremen, um, which is a shame. We've got some wagons over here to the right hand side. Being towed or being pulled by that BR 40, uh, sorry, where the 45, 155 in that blue press livery. I do like that blue press livery, it's beautiful. Do a bit of horn action, why not? As we roll through the station, make sure people are over that white line. You can see the, uh, the sun's really starting to set now and uh, it's starting to certainly get a little bit darker. We are quarter to eight in the evening, so it's about right. I assume this is probably sort of towards the summertime. Because no one wants a music festival in the winter. <laughs> Not much to look at, I'm afraid, uh, in this part of the world. I've drive, driven 45 kilometers, there we go. I'll take that. <laughs> Should have been 42.5, not 45. Uh, it missed a trick there. Have a little look around this cab. What can we do? Um, Notch. Yeah, nothing particularly interesting on the multi screen, multi display screen, multi function screen, whatever you want to call it. Not seeing too much coming in the opposite direction at the moment. It's very flat and very empty. <laughs> give you a bit of a look at this uh, 425. I'll, I'll give you a, a little bit of a, a blinding with these um, red headlights that aren't really tail lights. <laughs> you can see them in the middle there as well. It is a known issue so uh, hopefully they get on top of that quite quickly because that's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway back to the cab. Uh, a bit more power. We are coming up to 120 zing. So we'll have to think about slowing shortly. Pretty much coming into Bremen, only four kilometers, four and a half kilometers to go. Let's uh, think about slowing. There we go, we're going to be perfectly down in time for the uh, speed limit change. We have got a 60 coming up and about 1.5. There we go, there's our indication that we should be slowing. So we'll. We've got some uh, cars here over to the side. 
stables. Very cool. Looks like they're all very much unpainted. That is uh, a hell of a lot of cars. That is one long, one long load of cars. There we go. We're almost down to sixty. Yeah, it will come off the brakes. Well, stop in here, I'm afraid people are just arriving at that station. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear that. There is some, uh, some, there's some music going on. And if you can see just over there, we've got some it looks like we've got some let's just slow down a little bit more so you can get a good oh wow let's, uh, let's, let's camera eat this there we go this is definitely what the uh, scenario is all about how very cool jump back in the cab We're only 1.7 out of uh, our Bremen now. Uh, it sounds like that is one, uh, one hell of a music festival going on. It's just a shame there are no passengers to go to it. <laughs> Speed up a touch here. The uh, the night lights in it's very nice on this actually. We've got some big lights going on here. Not sure what that's for. We have got a 50, so we'll slightly just uh, start braking now. You can still hear it in the background. There's our indication that we should be rolling down to 40. A bit more break. There we go, this we've still got a four. It's really going, isn't it? You see, still see the lights on the back there, in the background there. That's very cool. Uh, I'm a fan of this scenario. One criticism: slightly more passengers than it would have given that feel of of a real music festival, taking a lot of uh, festival goers to the state, you know, to Bremen, where it obviously is, is is happening. So as we approach into Bremen Station, this does look really quite nice at night actually. Uh, it's the first time I've played it, certainly uh, out, any time outside of sort of you know, the heart, the height of the, the uh, sort of midday, that sort of time. No, I was a big fan of this. couple of niggly little bits but uh, yeah it's been an enjoyable scenario to run actually so let's uh, just start braking as we know what these uh, brakes are like on this 425 keep it on min brake for now bit more braking action just about spot on and we'll lock, lock those doors and we'll get 
all you know the, the hundreds of passengers that we've clearly got on this train off <laughs> let's see uh, let's lock those doors and let's see what medal we get come on there you go on the return trip split the uh, split the train and take it into oh I didn't know this part this was part of the uh, this scenario all right we've got some additional stuff to do so let's uh, take that out I've taken it out uh, probably should turn the headlights off there we go open the cab door let's uh, run down the other end of the tree Yeah, ignore the... Oh my good god, what is going on in here? Let's uncouple this thing. Press and hold. Pressing and holding. There we go. Objective complete. Uh, turn it off. Remove the master. I, I would if I could. There we go. And sit in the other end. Okay. Oh, there we go. And we're running back up the other end. Where's this going to take us now, I wonder? Let's jump back in here. Oh. Come on, let me climb up. As I said, you can sort of see right through. Passengers this can see uh, what's going on. Insert the master key, set it to forward. Let's put the uh, headlights back on. Uh, put it into forward. And let's. Uh, we've got the signal, so we are free to move. Let the brake pressure come out. The uh, music vessel very much is still going on. You can see our stopping point is just over there. I've never been down this part of the uh, the tracks before. This is very different. So we're under 40, mi uh, 40 kilometers an hour. We're going to be heading over just over there. Let's just look at this on the uh, the map. Ah, yeah, we've got some sidings down here, and obviously that's where we're going to park this 425 up. This is a nice little end to the uh, the scenario. I thought uh, it was just going to be sort of a uh, very just straight run from Hugh to Bremen, but to also do this uh, stabling is very cool. Shame uh, it's this isn't populated with more more locos or anything or trains let's put these windows back up now so get applying those brakes hundred percent on the brakes so we we're pretty much put on the marker there oh you yeah Thanks, thanks, because I've got to be right on top of it. That's ridiculous. This train will be used on the return trip later. There we go. Is that the end of this scenario now? I'm not sure. Is it? If you... <laughs> And there we go. What do we get? Is it a gold? It is. It is a gold. Lovely. If you've enjoyed this one, as I say, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.